Hey, thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Welcome to my channel. Today I have an exciting video to show you the Top Don Phoenix Light 2 scan tool. Now this is just one of one scan tool in a line of many scan tools that the Top Don company produces of all different levels. So it pretty much depends on how much money you want to spend to get what you want. So before we do that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, you get notified of all my future content, which you definitely don't want to miss. Let's go check it out. So here's what the case looks like. I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. Very nice blow molded case. Like I said, I've already opened this up and registered it because I wouldn't be able to do anything with it if I hadn't registered it. But here's what it looks like right here. Here's what the tablet looks like. It's got uh, so one function on the outside. Is it's got a handle here that you could use to set up or you could carry it around so right off the bat here we got the obd2 port right here the, the lights light up here top down nice real crisp connection 2015 ram 6 6.7 all i did was plug in the dongle down there uh, it's kind of a pain to plug it in because they had a device plugged in so we're going to turn it on uh looks like i was all right so we're going to go auto scan i've already used this thing quite a bit very impressed with this scan tool uh so it's a dodge so from everyone i've seen uh oops trying to look through my phone we're going to go local diagnosis this thing will scan it in about a minute and it will scan all the modules. So we're going to go, okay. Next one, it's going to pull up the vehicle. Yes. And now we're going to go to gateway scan. And this is where it's going to scan all the modules. Uh, it's here for a check engine light, obviously. Uh, so it looks like most likely we have a transmission problem. Uh, usually when the TCM has a code, uh, the PCM has a PO700. Uh, indicating that there is a fault. So now we're going to go to diagnostic plan. It's going to pull up all our codes. So we got water and fuel sensor, uh, circuit high. We got engine coolant levels too low. Uh, ECU internal performance of the transmission control module. So you see how it pulled all the codes from all the systems. We're circulating door, uh, speakers steering column so so from so i'm working on a six liter right now and i just got done driving it now this is the icp injection control pressure the i mean the pressure right there the desired pressure and the ipr so now this is really important if you work on six liters now when you do this function here this combined now you can see that we're all on the same thing right here and as you drive it you can see so right now the desired and the actual are right on top of each other and that's really important especially if you're cranking a six liter and it's a no start and when i was starting this thing it would show the desired up here and it showed the actual and then you saw the actual starting to climb and climb and climb and once it hit the desired boom it fired so really important right here all right, I'm really happy I was able to get this to show you on this video. If you do any diagnostics, a lot of people use snap-on scanners and things like that. That's what I've used my whole career. And I've never been able to take a PID and put it on top of a PID and a graph. Let me show you why it's so important. Look at this Duramax here. I'm driving it and the blue is the actual fuel rail pressure and the orange is the desired. Now, what I like about it is that you could take this and you could pinch it and you can zoom out. You can zoom in. Look at that. There's my whole test drive right there. When you don't see the blue, that means it's dead on. And a diesel should be dead on. The, the, the rail pressure should be exactly what the desired is. I wish I could show... When I was driving it here, when I hit the throttle and I had no power, the blue sank all the way to the bottom. 
and and then I let off the throttle and that's why the orange dropped. That's why this Phoenix Light 2 is so valuable. Anytime you have a desired, anytime you have a desired uh, a, a PID and an actual, it is so important to be able to see uh, what you're looking at. The other thing, replace the fuel filters and now look at it. That shows right there that it's fixed and just how valuable being able to put the data on top of each other is. Look at that, you barely see any blue. I know it's sunny out today, so it's kind of hard to see. But look at that. This is a 2018 uh, Sprinter. Uh, I scanned a Sprinter yesterday. Uh, this one, not sure how it's gonna go because it's an 18 with a three liter. But we'll watch how quick it decodes and we'll see if it decodes. Okay, there we go. Just a couple little functional tests that I've done with this uh, Top Don. Uh, I got this 5500 chassis cab, uh, six, seven Cummins. And uh, we did a, um, so we're in the process of doing a stationary uh, regen. And I also replaced the transmission control module and did a transmission uh, quick learn calibration. So just a couple little functional tests that this thing does. So I've been using this Top Don Phoenix Light 2 for uh, several weeks now. And I have used this on uh, Sprinters, 2014 Sprinters, 2018 Sprinters. I've used it on 5500 uh, uh, 6.7 chassis cabs. I have used it on an 03 Camry, a 2012 Sienna, uh, an 02 Dakota. I have used it on every vehicle since I got it. And I have yet to find anywhere where it wouldn't work, where it didn't work, or it didn't exceed my expectations. I've been using the Snap-on scanners for my entire career, and this is the first time that I've ever had a scan tool that I would grab it before the Snap-on scanner. The, the biggest thing for me was when I was working on the Duramax and I could take the rail pressure and I could lay the actual over the desired and that confirmed my, my problem with the truck and that was the, the biggest thing for me. Now, this, this scan tool is a great scan tool. It's under $1,000. Uh, it's on Amazon. Uh, actually, this, uh, this is uh, the week before Thanksgiving. Uh, Black Friday's coming up, and it's, there's going to be a big sale for this scan tool. So if you're looking for uh, something like this, it's going to be a fantastic deal. Stay tuned for Black Friday, and I'll have a YouTube short uh, showing you uh, the price and uh, also dropping the link for you. So... This is what you need to get. Top Don is a great company, and I'm very pleased. So thanks for watching the video. Hit the like button, hit subscribe button, hit the bell. You get notified of all my future content, which you definitely don't want to miss. Also, send me a message if you have a question about a scan tool or anything. See you next time.